Okay, so hello and welcome back. So in the previous video, we wrote a program that uh, basically a five, essentially the marks obtained by a student in five different subjects are input through the keyboard. And the student gets an, an A, B, C or F depending on the marks average meaning that if the average is greater than or equal to 60 he or she gets an A if it's um, if the mark is between 50 and 59 but equal to 50 he, he or she gets a B between 40 and 49 a C and between and less than 40 he or she fails meaning that he gets an F right so now this is essentially the the, the program the program that we wrote was kind of complicated meaning that you need to write an if a statement then another then another then an, an else statement then in the in this else statement you need to write another if else statement and then again in the in this if in this else statement you need to write another if else statement and then put all of those things together so that basically and the whole thing essentially becomes your program and you saw that we said we saw we said that basically that that the program can get way too complicated way too fast if the number of conditions increase uh, if the number of conditions increases then the then the, the program can get way too way too complicated meaning that you could you you would have to essentially write if else statements inside and nest them inside essentially inside these if else statements one after the other and so on and so forth so the code can get way too complicated and way too uh, difficult to understand right so now in order to um, in order to um, um, in order to solve this problem we can solve this problem using the logical operators that we ex that we introduced basically over here on this page Th this is a part of the course and we have talked about this before in the previous videos so we have the and and we have the or these are the logical operators and there is also the not uh, that we could use in order to write programs so now let's see how we can use these three logical operators to write this program so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to 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 keep essentially everything related to so this is C level 2 code this thing I'm going to call it code this thing 2.c and then the conditions remain the same include that stdi.h remains the same and then int main and then I'm going to keep the same variables and enter the marks for the five subjects and then scan if the marks and then assign them to the to the five variables over here and then calculate the average right so we, so far we have no problems but then over here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to erase all of this and write the conditions in a different way now the way that you can you can write this is that you can use separate if if else if else statements but then the else part of those if else statements you can leave them out you will see essentially what i mean so you could say that for example if and the condition the first condition is that the marks or the average is greater than or equal to 60. so you can simply say that the average is greater than or equal to 60 then what you what you want to do here is that you want to printf and uh, in the printf function you want to say that the candidate the candidate gets an gets an a right so that's that's the first part next you want to say that that the average is between 50 and 59 meaning that greater than or equal to 50 and less than 59 so basically then what you could say is that you could say that if the average 
the average is greater than or or, or essentially is greater than or equal to uh, 50 so if the average is greater than or equal to 50 and also and then I'm going I'm going to use a logical and and the average is uh, is also less than 59 as as mentioned here and the average is less than 59 right and since basically the the, the program will get confused if you use this this um, this um, if you use essentially these conditions without parentheses I'm going to I'm going to use a parenthesis over here another parenthesis close it here and, and essentially call this one complete condition and, and I'm going to call this one complete condition as well right so something like this I'll save this so now the if the average is greater than or equal to 50 but less than 59 then what we want to do is that is that the candidate gets a B so then you could say that this basically you could copy the same printf statement over here and say that the candidate essentially gets a gets a B next uh, so next you want to say that the, 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 the average is basically the same thing but 40 and 49 essentially, essentially so I can copy the same thing this whole thing over here and paste it here and then call this basically 40 and 49 and 49 and say that basically that the candidate in this case gets a C right and then the and essentially in the end i'm going to basically say that if the average is less than 40 the candidate gets a c meaning that if the if the average is less than 40 then you can use the printers the, the printer function over here and say that basically that the candidate gets an f essentially right and uh, so that's essentially your program and then you can you can essentially build this program and uh, run it so you have no problems and no essentially you have no errors no warning no nothing and you can run the program and so then you can say that for example if you enter the marks for the five subjects for example Let's say that the marks are supposed to be, or the average is supposed to be greater than 60. For example, 65, 65, 65, 65, and 65. So that the candidate gets an, gets an A, right? If basically, if the candidate gets a 60, for example, 60, 60, 60, 60, and 60, then still the candidate gets an A and the candidate gets an A and, and, and I'm for example in this case I'm, I'm entering all 60s here because 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60 and 5 times 6 is equal to 300 and 300 so 300 then divided by 5 would be equal to 60 which is essentially what I what I want the value of uh, the, the value of average to be so then the, the average average would be equal to 60 and so then the candidate gets an A by this A, by this if a, by this if a statement right and then you can basically keep um, basically keep um, um, uh, essentially entering different values meaning that for example you can get a uh, you can you can enter some number between 50 and 59 for example 55 you can say that this is 55 55 55 55 and 55 and then the candidate gets a B let's now enter some number between for example 40 and 49 for example 45 45 45 45 and 45 then the candidate gets a C and now let's enter some number between with less than 40 for example 35 so 35 35 
35, and 35. Uh, and that is, that is basically a, uh, the can gets an F. Okay, so now the, 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 the program, as you can see, it works and it is much simpler than the previous program. I mean, anybody can, can write this program without any problems. Now, the problem with this program is that uh, you have essentially one if, one if a statement over here, another if a statement over here, another if a statement over here, another if a statement over here, and so on and so forth. And basically, no matter what happens with the condition meaning that for example if you if you enter any number into if you enter any five numbers into into these variables m1 to m5 some average will be calculated right any average that is calculated some average essentially goes into these if statements and then the problem is that all of these if statements will be executed even if it's not really necessary they will be executed one after the other and uh, and well all of the four essentially if a statements will be exit for example suppose that for example the value of average becomes 35 right so then 35 goes in here in this statement and 35 is not greater than or equal to 60 so then then basically this printf statement will not be executed and the program goes to the second if statement. Now again, 35 is not greater than or equal to, 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 to 50. It's not some number between 50 and 59. So the printf statement over here will not be executed. Then basically 35 is some number between 40 and 49. So this printf statement will be executed and once this printf statement is executed still basically um, uh, 35 is uh, excuse me 35 is essentially is is not is not basically is not some number between 40 and 49 so this printf statement will not be executed right and 35 is less than 40 so this last printf statement will be executed and then the program will tell the user that the candidate gets an F. On the other hand, if the value of the average happens to be, for example, a 45, right? So then the first statement, the first if statement will be executed and it's not a match, so nothing happens here. The second if a, if a statement will be, will be executed but then it's not a match, so it's nothing is going to happen. The third if a statement is going to be executed and it's a match because 45 is some number between 40 and 49, right? And so as a result, uh, the this printf statement is going to be executed. And then basically, lastly, once essentially once the program has executed this this if a statement then basically the the essentially the, the the last if a statement is also going to be executed and uh, but again it's not a match so nothing is going to happen meaning that in any case essentially all of these if a statements are going to be executed Okay, so now in order to get over this, this, this problem, what we can do is that we can use another structure called else if a structure, meaning that I'm going to call this code listing three and the exact same problem. I'm going to keep the include stdi.h and the main function and the same basically the same variables, the same print of statement, the same scan of statement and calculate the average in the exact same way but then I'm going to make some changes to the if to the to these if statements over here right so what I'm going to do is that this is called an else if ladder so this is called using else if 
ladder you can write the program essentially this way using the else if ladder you can you can say that for example you can start with your first condition over here which is if um, the value of the average is greater than or equal to 60 meaning that I could say that the average is greater than or equal to 60 then basically what's going to happen is that um, then the program needs to say that basically using the print of statement I'm going to say that the candidate gets an gets an A right so that that's basically the first part now for the rest of the for the rest of these conditions what you need to do is that you need to um, uh, essentially you need to use else if else if a statement meaning that you instead of writing basically then when you can simply write an else if meaning that if this is not the case then else if the and then some condition and the condition is that now if basically if the value of average is not if this is not the case that means that the value of, of, of the average is less than 60 and uh, um, which means that basically um, less than 60 meaning less than or equal to 59 essentially right um, less than 60 or less than less than or equal to essentially greater than or equal to 50 right so if I write greater than or equal to 50 if, if the value of the average is greater than or equal to 50 right then if it is greater than or equal to 50 then the then the user essentially the candidate gets a b then the i can i can copy this code from here and paste it here and say that the candidate gets a gets a b right then again you can say that if the if basically if the else if for example if it is greater than 40 then again you can say else if and the average is greater than or equal to 40 for example then that means that the that means that the, that the candidate gets a c essentially right the candidate gets a c and if all of these if none of these is the case then that means that basically that your mark is less than 40 right which means that then you can you can just simply say else a simple else a statement else then print that 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 the candidate gets an f right so this this is the exact same essentially the exact same structure and uh, that's essentially your program now if i build this program and if i basically run it now let's say that the candidate gets some some mark greater than 60 for example the 65 um, 65 65 65 and 65 and 65 gets an a right let's say that um, the candidate gets basically um, um, some mark between essentially 50 and 59 let's say 55 for example if the if the candidate gets a 55 so that would be 55 55 55 55 and 55 so the candidate gets a b right now if basically now let's say that the candidate gets a mark between 40 and 49 for example 45 so that would be 45 45 45 45 and 45 and the candidate gets a c right and uh, lastly uh, if the mark is less than 40 for example 
for example, let's say 35, 35, 35, 35, and 35, the candidate gets an F, right? So that you can see that, that, that the program works without any problems. Now, the, the, basically the, the, what you need to note here is that, um, is that there is a couple of things about this, this program which are important. First of all, the basically the uh, when you use the 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 LC flatter, you can see that basically that the amount of indentation in the in the program decreases, meaning that the, that the code essentially gets uh, essentially sticks to the to the left hand side of your of your code editor, which means that basically then you will be able to write more code in the in the in the, in the space that you that you have in your code editor, which means that the code does not get into the right hand side of the code editor and get out of the screen essentially. So that's essentially one thing that that is important. Now the about basically you can see that your else if ladder it has basically it starts with an if with an else with an if a statement then you have else if over here else if over here and then you would have as as many else ifs have, as as necessary and then finally in the end you have an else statement right so this else statement is executed only if all, only if all of these basically all of these conditions over here fail then the last else over here will be executed otherwise the last else the last else will not be executed which means less cpu time for the for the program less execution time for the program and also less compilation time for the program meaning that essentially less execution time less compilation time meaning less cpu time for the program and of course uh, it means most probably even less memory for the program right and what's important here is that basically you can imagine that you could have basically for example a 20 30 for example else if statements essentially between the f and the else meaning that you could have the f the f the if essentially in the beginning the else at the end of the program and then between the two you have 20 25 else if statements meaning that if the condition gets way too complicated if that's the case then the program will start from the very beginning the beginning of the lc ladder right and then it will check the conditions one by one and then suppose that at the fifth for example lc statement the condition is true and then the program will print out any something on the on the on the, on the console and then the rest of all of those statements will not be executed anymore meaning that there would be for example if there is in uh, essentially if there is totally 20 else if statements and by the by the fifth one essentially um, that the condition becomes true then there is another 15 statements that will not be executed anymore and moreover the last else statement will not be executed anymore so this is again basically a whole lot of saved cpu time for the for the program right and one more thing that that is also important here is that basically this last else statement that that i have written over here this last else statement is optional you can um, you can basically simply forget about it if you don't need it so that's that's all about this program hopefully through this this example you have learned essentially uh, something uh, useful and practical in 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 writing programs using different essentially um, using essentially different conditions I'll see you in the next video with basically another construct that is used that is very useful in programming. Thank you.